With marketing budgets tightening for small businesses, they are really hard pressed to stretch funds. Local SEO, which is the strategy that uh, local businesses use to organically attract new clients, is often misunderstood and underused component that they should be applying more into the digital marketing strategies. It offers high rate of return relative to the effort expanded when it works right. According to Google, half of all individuals who conduct a search for a local business will visit that business within 24 hours. 78% of local mobile searches result in a store, store purchase. Um, and what's even more attractive is that about 56% of local searches are on the go, which means they're using it via their smartphone. smartphone. So how you as a small business owners can tap into numbers like this for your business. Hi, my name is Leo, and today we're gonna to be talking about five of the highest return investment marketing strategies you can use for the rest of 2019 to boost your sales. Before we get started, if I just all of a sudden appear on your news feeds or interrupt whatever YouTube video you're watching, let me introduce myself as I mentioned Previously, um, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing agency here locally in Solano County, and you can check it out by visiting digitaltrack.co. That's digitaltrack.co. There's no M at the end. And you can definitely see the different resources I have there available in my contact information, social media links, handles, etc. All right, so let's dive into the five highest return investment marketing strategies you can use for your business for the rest of 2019 to boost your sales. So number one, optimize um, your Google My Business profile. If you're not familiar with Google My Business profile, that's basically the free resource that Google provides to small businesses for them and to set up a profile about their business, which is gonna help them to have their business listed within the search results and also to appear in the Google Maps whenever people are searching on Google for a specific business that gives the opportunity to your business to appear in the map. So optimizing it, how do we optimize it? This is basically simple local SEO, but some of the things you can do obviously is making sure you go there, set it up, right? And making sure your information is correct, right? Simple things you can do is obviously making sure your name is correct, the hours of operation, the contact information, the type of services you provide or type of uh, products you provide. So all of this is combined into one platform which is called Google My Business or as we want to call it, or as we going to call it for the rest of the video, GMB. All right. It's one thing to set up your GMB listing, but another entirely to make sure it's done is right in a way that helps your possible customers rather than turn them away right from making business with you. So number two, practice proactive reputation management. What uh, reputation is management is basically just that, right? Making sure you manage the reputation of your business online and how to do that, right? And, and be proactive about it because it's not just set and forget. People are off, you know, people are, if you are marketing and you are in business, people are constantly talking about you uh, over and over. So reputation is everything, as you will think, right? With the, we do that with everything in life. If you do that if you go to uh, to go talk to a client, right? What's the reputation that you commit? You do that for you hiring somebody, right? What's the reputation if you ask for references? You you do that for partnering up with other businesses, right? You, what's the reputation of that business if if you don't know them uh, closely? Uh, just as operating and marketing budget are tighter, so is the amount of money consumers have to spend, right? They want to know that the companies they do business with are trustworthy, that they can they, they care about them and they patronize them, and that their products or services will deliver as promised. That's where our online reputation play as a part. So with this high school analysis and right approach, online reputation can help you generate more positive reviews and neutralize any negative mentions because obviously the more reviews you gather, right, all those naturally, uh, negative mentions or reviews are going to just basically down to the bottom 
uh, go down to the bottom. So monitor your reviews, right? Monitor, monitor them in real time. There's different tools you can use, or you can simply receive notifications or download the applications of the different most popular review tools out there, Yelp, Google My Business, Facebook, etc. right? And have them send you notification. Now, if that's too much for you to handle, how about you find somebody to help you within your in-house, right? Within your business, hire in a admin, to one of these places or location, or just have somebody else do do it for you, like a local agency that their name is Digital Track. All right, manage bad reviews and deal with them head on. Don't just ignore them. Don't just go in there and be emotional about it because yes, we understand that your you know our businesses are baby, but we have to learn how to disconnect. From emotion. If we don't know how to do that, we might need to use somebody else to help us come and deal with bad reviews so that it doesn't provide an emotional point of view that from us, right? So you have to deal with them. It's just a way how to do it. It's something you have to decide for yourself. Like if you cannot separate emotion, uh, then you perhaps you should not be doing it yourself. It has somebody else. If you're okay dealing with emotions and you're okay about you love about getting listening to the feedback of your clients, then by all means, right? You gotta do what you do more. You 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 do you love doing more about your business if you do not have a big budget for um. You you should be doing more about your business with the things that you love about it. Um. This will allow you to, to this will allow your clients to engage more directly with uh, customer base, or this will allow you as a business owner to um, engage more directly with your customer base, right? Get to learn from them. So number three, demonstrate your authority by educating, by showing people what your services do, and there's different ways how you can do that, right? How you become a, an authority. Uh, some of the ways are creating content. So if you are lawyer, dentist, right, what is the content that you can provide to educate your audience? Uh, providing workshops, making videos like the ones I do right now, right? Obviously, this may not apply for every business, business but what sort of authority uh, can work for your business? So, for example, if we, uh, some of my clients could be our Mexican restaurant, right? How we build authority? We provide content and continue to distribute the content, uh, uh, you know, with uh, to their potential clients, to clients that have, uh, to our loyal clients as well. We continue to stay in contact with them. It's so just we just build authority by being the Mexican place in town. Obviously, they have to have great food and great services because obviously, marketing will not will only enhance whatever that business is. So if your business is great, it will enhance the greatness that you are to make sure people know about it. If your business is bad, marketing all it's going to do is basically enhance how bad your restaurant is and you're going to be running out of business soon. So demonstrate your authority, show them. If you have video testimonials, if you have videos showing people how you do your work, show them right and then you can uh, utilize advertising to ensure those um all, all those tools can be put in front of potential clients number four secure your website i don't know how in this time and age in 2019 we still have a hard time setting up um <clears throat> secure websites okay it, it should not be an excuse most platforms offer uh, security included, you know, with, with your hosting companies. I understand if you have a large website already that has been existing for many, many years, but I think it's important to see if it's worth it to invest, okay? One of the things that you should be doing is if you start noticing traffic drop down uh, to your website, if you start noticing calls drop down or fall off because your website is being found less and less. And the reason why I say this is because Google is actually being protecting their users because if they don't provide good user experience, obviously they 
will lose on one of the major revenue, which is advertising, right? The better experience they provide to users to come and find stuff, the more businesses will give Google money to advertise, to to, to use them as an advertising platform. So they are very concerned about their experience. And so what they're doing is that if they do not, it, what they're doing is they are blocking, blocking, so to speak, or warning the user, those sites that are not secure. So let's say, for example, I go to a site that is, I don't know, John Pizzas in Fairfield.com. And if it's not secure, Google will provide a warning that this site is not secure. And obviously, most users not being knowledgeable about it, they were just going to go ahead and avoid continue going into the website due to the warning that Google provided me. It, you still, the user still have an option to continue and, and, and go into my own risk. However, that warning scares a lot of users that are not, you know, that are not, not knowledgeable about what that means. So they just basically... Um, don't go to the website thinking that it will, it just basically doesn't work. Okay. So invest into security. Uh, you have to see about your business. Most, if you don't have a website, that should, should be an excuse to use it because most platforms host companies, it's, it's, it's the security SSL is included And real quick. I don't think I explained this. Having security in your website means that, <clears throat> it has the HTTPS on the part of the website. For, for for example, if I have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mywebsite.com, that is not a secure website because it doesn't have the HTTPS. So that's what it means. Um, Let me just show you here real quick. All right. So if I go to a website uh, that is not secure, let's see. Businesses in Fairfield. Let's just see what businesses do we have here around town. All right, so for example, if I go to Solano Business Development website, they have HTTPS, which means it's a secure website. If I go to Heretic Brewing Company, they have not a secure website. So this is what I mean that if your website is secure or not, right? The, the browser will tell you the website is not secure, will give you some kind of warning. Obviously, it tells you right here, not secure. That which means that HTTPS is not set up. Instead, it says probably HTTP all of forward slash forward slash. So that's what I mean by your business should be secure nowadays. Um, so option number five, let's go with number five, build online business citations. So building online business citations is like building a directory of to your business. If building an online directory that can help provide the user re refer that can help you uh, send you referrals. And some of the common ones that we know out there are, for example, Yelp, right? Um, LinkedIn, Facebook. But depending on the industry, you want to make sure you build your own, your, you put your business into their, uh, their directory according to the industry. Like for example, for things related to homes, uh, putting your business listed on, on this list will make sense, right? Uh, Yelp is one of the big ones. So obviously, pretty much any industry makes sense now to put it on Yelp, especially if you rely a lot into word of mouth and, and, and reviews, right? Any type of business you do that depends a lot on reviews and word of mouth and, 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 and um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Anyways, re reviews, Yelp basically t now handles all those categories. It, it used to be restaurants at some point, but now it handles categories. One tool that I will show you that is completely free, it's a tool that will, kind of, that will give you a good indication of where you want to spend some time having your business listed. And mo most of these are free, okay, but it gives you a good... Uh, 
idea of where you want to spend some time, have your uh, put your business listing in there, because it totally makes sense for the type of industry that you that you have. So okay, all oh, citation building. Let's see, this this. And then this is the third about resources. So you go to whitespark.ca. It's a website in Canada. And what we're looking for is helpful a spark uh, citation by industry so best citation sources by category for USA so it's this one right by category of the industry let's select the country and you'll get an option for um, the type of industry that you are. So let's say you are accountants, right? It gives you here an option. So, okay, for accountants in the United States, this is what we recommend you to have you to invest some time to add your business to this setup. Yellow Pages, believe it or not, is still a great resource to list your business because they have created a great online presence. Yelp.com, Tomback, BBB, Manta. So you can explore some of this and see. Um, uh, and get your business listed, okay? You know, there are so many online citations, hundreds and hundreds of them, So, but you don't need all of them. You just need the ones that make sense to your business, at least the most predominant as well. And the reason why is because, again, this, what it does, it helps with, uh, it's like having a referral system, right? It's like having... Uh, uh, business out there to refer you business back to your business, right? Because again, these are very popular sites. People are over there looking for services and products. And so if there are, obviously they look locally as well, right? So whenever you combine that, the, they trust this website, right? This website had done all the work for us to build the reputation. They trust them and you you use them you leverage their platform to have your business listed there well obviously it's like having business refer business back to us right it's like having a referral program through those businesses and the best part of it is most of these platforms over here that you've seen they don't charge anything to have our business listed there okay so that's the beauty part of it yes they will send us emails you can just unsubscribe from the emails that's fine but again, we have basically a free real estate. Um, we, we can leverage those as free real estate where our business can be listed and have us refer our business. So closing thoughts for anyone with the brick and mortar business, there's no single road or good reason not to optimize web presence with local SEO or to optimize your online presence with local SEO. In fact, there are more reasons than ever to use it to increase your local reach online. It is easier and less expensive than most other type of marketing and ROI gain makes it one of the best investment of time and money to be found. Now, if you want to dive deeper into what we covered today, I'll invite you to subscribe to our newsletter. I'll be coming up with a, a course to show you step by step how I the process, what I do to my former clients. So if you just head on down to my website, digitaltrack.co, um, you can uh, send me an email, text me, say, uh, go to my social media handles, handlers, and and let me know that you want to be subscriber subscriber for you to for that. Um, whenever I set up this step by step process, um, a course that I'm gonna be giving away for free for now, right? I want to see what the demand is, how helpful it is to. The, to the small local business uh, community and uh, start building the value first, right? And see how, uh, how, how valuable it is to business owners. So go ahead. If you send something that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. Send me a, a message, send me uh, an email, and I'll add you to the list whenever that comes out. I'll keep you posted. All right. Have a good one. Bye.